So, welcome back. Let us visualize our model in uh, in QGIS. So here is our prediction map, raster map in QGIS. So um, to understand it better, we have rec reclassified the raster file to this. Which shows us, so the red means these are the places with higher probability that they are, that are classified as slums. So just to have a quick look, I will import um, the Google Earth image and we can compare it with our previous, um, with the visual interpretation of the Google Earth image we did in the first use, use case. So here is one of our previous use case that we in the use case one that we highlighted as a slum based on the um, characteristic visual characteristics that we made so let us open our prediction map and see if our prediction map also highlighted this location as a po as possible as a possible slum location yeah, the white means the whiter it is, the higher the probability of the location being a slope. You can see that our prediction map also um, identified this location as well as a slope. So let us look at another one of our um, location visual interpretation that we did in the use case that was also identified as a, as a slope. So here is another one of our interpretation in the use case one so let's look at our prediction whether we can we have similar with our prediction is also also gives us a similar result yeah it's also the result is also similar like i said the lighter it is the higher the probability of it being a slum so the class let's look at the classification that we did that we had a cutoff of 50 and 0 0.5 and 1 yeah it's also giving it's also give us similar result so now let us have a look at a non-slum whether our um, model was also was able to predict one of our identified non-slum as a non-slum um, so here is one of the, the non-use case that we looked at previously that was classified as a non-slum. So let's see if our raster image also considered this, if our prediction, if our prediction also considered this as a non-slum. So let's look at the this first. Yes, so the darker, like I said, the darker it is, the lower the probability of it being a slump so let's look for the the other one yeah green means non slump so let's look at another one another option again this is another location let's see yeah mm, yeah so our prediction is sort of good with our the drivers that we use so this is just for us to do what we call like a visual validation of our raster image Mind you, we've already used uh, done this in R, but now we are just trying to do a visual validation of whether our raster image result was if it's okay, if it's something that we can work with, or we need to, or there is need to do more, or or there is probably need to do more analysis. But what we have here now shows that um, the raster prediction 
visually based on our visual validation we can see that the raster prediction that we did was good and um, we can work with this in for subsequent analysis.